Blessings upon you. I want to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation uh, to each and every one of you and all the emails and all the uh, Facebooking experiences that I've had from individuals calling me and sharing with me and also sharing with our team about the impact of Awaken and how this one book has literally uh, tested the lives of many people uh, in the community to which God is allowing us to serve. Awaken, ignited by the power of prayer. Uh, the good news is this is the last chapter. The bad news is this is the last chapter, but it isn't the closing chapter when it comes to being awakened and ignited by the power of prayer. The last chapter, beloved, is entitled chapter 13, which in this case is a good number, is entitled Seeking and Outpouring, Seeking and Outpouring, that we're seeking God in such a manner that we want God to literally burst forth rivers and streams of water, fresh water, to be restored through every area in our life that this floodgate of God might just be opened up upon us in such an incredible way, seeking the outpouring presence of the Spirit of the living God. Listen to what Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4 says. And I want to read this to us so we can capture the moment. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all together on one accord, in one place. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as a fire. And one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of the living God gave them utterance. Seeking and outpouring from the presence of God seeking to be literally swept up into God's presence in such a way that he showers in our life the things that we need that can only come through being awakened and ignited by the power of prayer. The saints were praying and believing. And on that 50th day, on Pentecost, the Spirit of God came down upon the people of God. And when the Spirit of God comes down on the people of God, then the people of God can hear the Word of God. And then the Word of God becomes alive in their life and they begin to share with others. And it all began on their knees. They were awakened and ignited by the power of prayer. And when this happens, God does extraordinary things in our lives. The Lord God said to me as I was reading this that the seeking of God implies spending time with him. It implies really getting to know the mind and heart of God. It, and God also communicated this very clearly to me that the outpouring of God is a result of seeking God. There will never be an outpouring of God until we are literally have sought to seek God. And when we do that, then God can trust us with his presence and with his power. It is my prayer that you would experience what God has caused many others to experience. And that is that outpouring of the presence and power of God by walking through this work, awaking, ignited by the power of prayer. It is designed to help us to understand the joy of our salvation, the peace that passes all understanding. 
an insight that goes beyond the human, the human mind and the human concept. The abilities to be able to ascertain the very presence of God and then the joy and the peace and the knowledge and the contentment that comes in spending time with God and knowing what only God can do in our lives. It is one of the most exciting things that I've ever experienced in my life and that is learning how to spend time with God each and every day. Each and every day, I set aside that time from an hour or more every day to spend time with God. And I encourage every leader to get beneath the spout of God and prepare oneself for the showering of the spout of God coming down upon you that you might receive that fresh anointing each and every day that God can speak to you in incredible ways and do incredible things in your life that even you yourself and no one else can ever explain. Seeking and outpouring. Are you seeking God? Are you seeking to know God more intimately? Are you seeking God for what you can get from God or are you seeking God for what God can pour in you? Are you seeking God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your spirit? Are you giving God the very best that you can give? To know him is the best thing on this planet. And to experience him is the most exciting thing that any individual can ever come in contact with. Beloved, it is my prayer that you would rush hurriedly and get copies of this work and share it with your friends and make disciples for Jesus Christ with the message of mercy from the masters to remember that our Flogging's Ministries is about equipping saints for the work of the ministry. It's about equipping people. It's about the gospel. That is the good news. It is about the replication of Christ in your life that others may see what God is doing in your life and find that joy that you've discovered through spending time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Equipping people to be equipped for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is my prayer that God will do that for you and you and you and you unto the you and you and you and you and you and you and you meet him when he returns. God bless you. God keep you. And thank you so very much for being a part of the study of Awaken Ignited by the Power of Prayer. And we shall continue to do additional studies as the Holy Spirit provides opportunity. And also, beloved, we will have free materials that you can download. We want to be a resource and a blessing to your ministry, uh, to your life, to your family. Whatever we can do to bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, that's our desire. So www.pastorloggins.com. Uh, please, beloved, Share this with others. Forward it to your friends, to your family. We're all one in the family of God. We all belong to him. And we want to share the goodness of the grace and the mercies of God with others that they may understand what it really means to be awakened and ignited by the power of prayer. God bless you. God keep you. Until we meet again each Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the glory of Christ. God bless you. Thank you so very much again as we continue to equip the saints for the work of the ministry and to make Christ known. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the blessing of these episodes, these chapters that we have traversed. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. And I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit would do even a greater work than even I can conceive, that you would do it far beyond my greatest imagination, that eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what the Lord Jesus has in store for those who love him. We ask these things in no other name, save the name of our Lord and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And if your heart said amen, amen a second time, amen a third time, one for the Father, one for his Son, and one for his precious Holy Spirit. God bless you and God keep you. And thank you so very much for journeying with us in this experience. 
on the behalf of the staff and the team of RF Loggins Ministries and all of those who participate in helping me to do what I do, we greet you and we praise God for you in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. God keep you. Awaken, ignited by the power of prayer. That is what it's all about. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you.